In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome. Today is Friday, the 18th of November, 2022. It is Friday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, Church Year C. Today is the memorial of the dedication of the Basilicas of Saints Peter and Paul, Apostles. Good morning, beloved, and welcome. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of the holy apostles, that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive even to the end of the world an increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 10, verses 8 to 11. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 119. The response to the psalm is, How sweet is your promise to my tongue, O Lord! The gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 19, verses 45 to 48. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. And he was teaching daily in the temple. The chief priests and the scribes and the principal men of the people sought to destroy him, but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people hung upon his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Whip out of your life those things and persons that make you compromise on your values. Whip out of your life those things and persons that make you compromise on your values. Beloved of God, there are certain things Jesus could never compromise with. One, the truth. Two, the word of God. Three, the house of God, the temple. And four, the will of God. He could die for these things. This is because they were of much value to him. It did not matter who, or where, or when, or what. When it came to the truth, there was no compromise. Jesus told you to your face, and he said it as it was and had to be. Keep your friendship. Hate him or like him. Accept it or deny it. No one could buy him over, could convince or flatter him against the truth. Truth was truth. In fact, he had no friend as far and as long as these things were concerned. Another is the word of God. Jesus preached an undiluted gospel. He did not preach to please people, to tell them what they liked or wanted to hear, no. He preached to prick consciences and to call sinners to repentance and conversion. White was white, black was black. Take it or leave it, there was no compromise. The next was the house of God. Jesus did not compromise when it came to the house of God. My house is a house of prayer, and so it must be. Anything out of it, Jesus did not compromise. Allusion 
is made to him of John chapter 2 verse 17 and Psalm 69 verse 9. Zeal for your house will consume me. In John chapter 4 verse 34, Jesus himself said, My food is to do the will of my Father. Meaning, nothing is of interest or pleasure to him except that which pleases God. And if there was anything that did not please God, he pushed it aside. No compromise. Not even the presence of his mother and apostles could make him leave what he was doing when they came looking for him and he was preaching to the people. He did not leave. He stayed there. No compromise. We now understand why he said, if you are not ready to hate father, to hate mother, to hate brother and sister, wife, husband, children, yes, even your own self, then you will not be able to be a follower of his. This means whip out anything that will make you compromise. Whip out anyone that will make you compromise on your values. It is this zero compromise that made him drive out and whip out the traders from the temple. Business? In God's house? No, never. Jesus will not tolerate such nonsense. He will not take it. Nothing will be compromised that concerns God's house. My father's house is a house of prayer. Don't compromise it and transform it into a robber's den. All in the name of business. And he whipped them and drove them all out. Good people of God. We have compromised. And many things have gone wrong because of our compromise. Aren't we surprised? Jesus whipping and driving out people. Some exegetes have tried to be very sober to put this act of Jesus very nicely by saying it is a holy anger. <laughs> well, call it whatever you like. The truth is, when it comes to certain things, Jesus has no compromise. He will whip out anyone or anything. It doesn't matter who or what. The fact that he came for sinners and God's house must be open and welcoming to all does not mean God's house should become a brothel or a den of thieves. Sinners are welcome, no doubt, but who come in genuinely seeking conversion, but not those who want to come in and transform it into the devil's playground. What are those things about your life and about you that you cannot compromise. Those things that you value, that you are ready to whip out any distraction. There are some of us who have compromised preaching the gospel to looking for money. God's word suffers. Homilies are preached for two minutes and money, 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 money is the gospel we hear for two hours. The gospel can wait for all they care. Let us make money in church. This is the gospel we hear these days, money. There are also some who have compromised their families to bottles of beer. They will spend all valuable family time and money in a beer parlor. And their family misses their presence. It means you don't value your family. You have compromised. But for others, they will not compromise family time for anything business before pleasure. They will run home to meet family than stay out late nights all in the name of drinking out with friends. This means they value their family and nothing will make them compromise, not bottles of beer, not friendship. Some have compromised their children's future and education because of their drinking habit. Some have compromised their good name. They don't care. They can do any and everything that disgraces them. They don't care what people say. After all, it doesn't bother them. Some have compromised disciplining their children and those children have grown wayward. Some have compromised their dignity as human persons, all in the name of work. People insult you, treat you like thrash, 
Beloved, there must be a limit you cannot take. This is what it means to have no compromise. Some, because they want positions in government or in any office, be it ecclesiastical or civil or political, they have compromised their self-dignity, becoming little page boys and page girls, boot lickers, errand boys and girls. They cannot stand on their own. They cannot stand on their word. They cannot stand on the truth. If you value your love or friendship with some person, you will not compromise. You will not take things for granted and avail yourself to other friendships that can interfere or destroy your love and you argue and defend and say they are just mere simple friends. Beloved, that is compromising. Some youth have compromised their education and future to bad friends, bad habits and early pregnancies. You must whip them out, beloved. These things should not make you compromise. Many persons have compromised and many things have gone wrong. Not to compromise is to take no nonsense and give room for no pleasantries and frivolities. Dear friends in Christ, there are certain areas and domains you should never compromise, not for friendship's sake, not for money, not for power, not for anything. Some men have sacrificed their dignity because of women. Likewise, some women have sacrificed their dignity in the name of following men. It makes your identity and defines you. People should draw a certain line when it concerns you and certain areas in your life. People should say about you, that man, that boy, that woman, that girl, when it comes to this or that, when it concerns this or that, they have no compromise. Jesus did not compromise with the truth. He did not compromise with God's will. He did not compromise with God's word and God's house, and they knew him. He will whip and whip very well anyone or anything that dared to cross that line. We are told at the end of the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes and the principal men of the people sought to destroy him. <laughs> but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people hung upon his words. You too should whip out anyone or anything that dares to make you compromise. Beloved, not friendship. What is friendship that should make you compromise on certain values? What is it that you value? Don't compromise it. And we should begin whipping out like Jesus from our spiritual lives those things that make us compromise on God. That is, if at all you truly value God. You don't go to church. You don't receive the sacraments. You don't pray and you are comfortable. Oh, beloved, that is compromise. I tell you, whip out those things that make you compromise on God. When it comes to God and your spirituality, there should be no compromise. That is no playground. May God give us the grace, the strong will, and the determination to whip out anything and anyone that wants to make us compromise on our values. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever.